you know, the property of the church was right over. Don't you forget me Sunday. I'll be waiting for you there. Don't you forget me Sunday. I'll be waiting, waiting there. Don't you forget me Sunday. Don't you forget me someday, I'll be waiting, waiting there. Don't you forget me someday, I'll be waiting there. That was so good. Don't you forget me someday, I'll be waiting there. Don't you forget me, don't you forget me, said I'll be waiting there. Don't you forget me Sunday, I will be waiting there. And when you have forgotten the bright bed clothes on a Wednesday and a Saturday, and most especially when you have forgotten Sunday, when you have forgotten Sunday halves in bed, or me sitting on the front room radiator in the limping afternoon looking off down the long street to nowhere, Hugged by my plain old wrapper of no expectation and nothing I have to do, and I'm happy. Why? And if Sunday never had to come, when you have forgotten that, I say, and how you swore if somebody beat the bell, and how my heart played hopscotch when the telephone rang, and how we finally went in for Sunday dinner, that is to say, went across the front room floor to the ink spotted table in the southwest corner to Sunday dinner which was always chicken and noodles, or chicken and rice, salad and rye bread and tea and chocolate chip cookies. I say, if you have forgotten that, if you have forgotten my little presentiment that the war would be over before they got to you, and how we finally undressed and whipped out the light and flowed into bed and lay loose-limbed for a moment in the week and bright bedclothes then gently folded into each other. If you have, I say, forgotten all that, then you may tell, then I may believe you have forgotten me well. Gwendolyn Brooks.